Well, good morning, everybody. Today we've got the Jaguar F-Type, one of my favorite looking cars. It's just a beautiful, sleek line. There's a new P340, so it gets that little spoiler on the back fix, which is nice. I love the gloss black wheel. Big size to 20 inch wheels all around, big Pirelli tires and so on. A nice look that, this is the 19, so it's got still got that previous headlight, which that's a personal taste thing. I guess this is rather nice. A very aggressive looking front end and a nice look to the car. This is the three liter six cylinder. I was wondering whether you need the V8. So we're gonna drive it today and wake her up a bit and see, see how it performs. Just a nice looking car. Let's climb inside. So 340 horsepower. 332 pounds of torque. Um, this is chorus gray, by the way, with the pimento red accented interior, which looks pretty classy, just nice. Nice quality stuff in a Jag. Let me look at that steering wheel here. Let's climb in and take a look. There's our main display. He's asking me for my seat belt. I better put that on, I suppose. Let's keep the world smiling here. There we go, lovely. Nice looking display, just analog dials. You can get a digital version in the sedans and so on, but I kind of like the analog gauges with that big center display showing us all the information that we need. Great big screen here for the navigation. I'll touch the little map picture there and it will go to the map. Um, and just a nice size, easy to control and easy to find buttons while you're driving. AC down below. One cool thing, when you turn the AC right off, those little, little panel there will drop right down and disappear away into the car, which is very, very cool. I'll put that back on so I don't suffocate. All right, uh, further down, we've got our modes here. Pushing it backwards goes to dynamic mode. That's kind of fun on the main display. I'll pass, slide it backwards now, and everything then has a red accent. There's just kind of a bit more racy, kind of a nice feel to it. You also have an ice and snow mode. It just uh, reduces your power and, and, and pulls off in second gear, things, things like that. You've got to love a car that has an exhaust button. What can I tell you? Um, really a nice feature, and I wish more cars had that, but it's uh, the sports car world. You're starting to get more of that, the GTS Porsches and so on. Great looking gear lever, all metal around it. The, sh the paddle shifters are also metal. Um, just a nice looking car. Let's take it for a little drive, and we'll have a bit of fun here. Let's put you in the little bracket. There you go. Okay, lovely. Perfect. That's got it and we'll take off. Um, I'm going to put her into dynamic mode. We'll leave traction control on. For, I do have a traction control button. I'm going to leave that on for a minute. Let's uh, take off and have a look here. I'm going to slide this across and use the paddle shifters. Good sound. You get that duck with a digestive tract issue. Pro sound when you change gear. Nice. Pops and bangs, I've, I've figured it out. If you get the car around 3,000 revs, this is uh, fourth gear around 3,000 revs, just touch on the gas and let go. You get those pops and bangs out of the back. The big double exhausts are rather nice. And again, this is the six cylinder. They now offer the car in a four cylinder, six cylinder and eight cylinder. So we've got the middle range here. The eight cylinder is a lot more money, it's 20,000 more. This car was around 80,000. Feel it in the seat. 
downshift rather than just the car swaying over. Yeah, downshifts are a little slow, but upshifts are right now. Very good. cylinders four-wheel drive after a little while because it was a lot of power with all the weight up on the nose and not much on the back as a six-cylinder she's just under 3,500 pounds 3,477 is what they say as a curb weight that's fueled up and so on um, but nicely made car lovely quality car when you look down you see that big silver they call it the leaper that big silver jag in the center of the steering wheel is rather cool um, I don't like it and again, the Profile, one of the most beautiful cars on the market. Very Aston Martin, of course, in its, in its very sleek line. I kind of like that. That's nice. It's all of the Aston Martin pop without the Aston Martin price, I suppose, yeah. I'm following a truck now. This is... So I'll tell you what, let's just, I'm going to hold the right paddle. Like most cars, that takes it back to automatic. Eight speed, of course, as I mentioned. That was quiet. It's good cruise, stiff though, the, the ride is very firm. Um, very fun in a sports car to have that. You know, generally people will have a nice SUV as a luxury car and this is a sports car. I guess you want the firmer ride. You want to be involved in the, in the driving process. Kind of fun. Let's pull her over. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. It's, uh, I'm gonna try and broadcast a new video every day. Uh, every day I'm in work, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do a video of one of the cars. It is, um, really a lot of fun to be around these lovely cars every day it's a treat i'm gonna put her in park there let's get you out of there let's have a look lovely so i like the car it's really um just first class nice seating controls here you've got lumbar support of course lots of memories and so on but easy to understand what that's doing and so on the seat itself is the Jaguar racing seat, the bucket seat with the kind of nice like a harness hole through there, which is very, very cool. Close her up. What do you think of the gray? I like the tinted windows on this one. A very pretty car. They've done a nice job with this. The car is uh, uh, much better than I thought it was going to be. This is really a beautiful car, lovely quality, a firm ride, but I think that makes it fun. I'll do another video tomorrow and we'll see you soon. Thank you.